Ah uh, yes, I recall now exactly what happened last time we uh, have to go see a tower. Have you got any more specific details, Eric? I'll stay here and stand watch for the alchemist who knows how many alchemists there are in this sanctuary. They could come at any moment to break him free. Do you want me to repeat what we know so far? Quickly. Abandoned tower. Mystical workshop. Key of power. Key of power. Okay, okay, okay. Abandoned tower, key of power, abandoned tower. Yep, okay. We need to go to the mystical workshop to find the key of power to the abandoned tower. I believe that is correct, possibly, or we need to find a key and go to the abandoned tower that's beyond the mystical workshop. One, one of the two. Either way, that that's all the information I need right now. I'm wondering if maybe... I think there was a place in the blue zone that we couldn't get through because we needed the lightning ability. And that could be the orange section down there. I think we've explored yellow and green fairly thoroughly. And I don't think we could progress any further in the light yellow over here. Red was definitely an off-limits section. I think maybe, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll retrace our steps through blue. That seems sensible. That seems relatively sensible. That's the best I can really I can really put forward right now. I think there were some monsters we never caught in blue. I can't remember specifically. It's possible, so you know, maybe we'll uh, steam through those fellas, collect them for collection's sake. Because you know, as I said before, you do in fact got to catch them all. And holy shit, my dog is making a lot of noise in the kitchen right now. Okay, okay, okay. can you hear this shit? Can you hear this? What's going on right now? Fucking ridiculous. Shit I've got to put up with, honestly. He's, uh, he... The thing is, right, he'd abandoned his bowl. He ate a while ago. He was done. It's only because I'm now recording that he's like, uh, maybe I'll just, uh, be as obnoxious as I can physically possibly be, you know? It's just sort of, sort of his thing. It's what he does. You can't blame him for it. He's a dog. He's, uh somewhat locking, lacking in the cognitive capabilities that we as humans have, and as am I, evidently, because I can't say the word lacking, so, you know, who am I to judge? There's a down over there as well. That was, uh, like, down through a, like, a water gusher. You know what I mean. It was like a, 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 a bubbly water thing that we couldn't swim down through and I assume we still can't so that bit's still off limit. Oh, I was looking at the map. Oh well, we should probably be, be able to win this pretty quickly. I could have run but I'm no coward. I'm a big brave man who does big brave things like pick on enemies half his level. That's my jam. What's yours? It's quite nice to, to be this overpowered in this game, because I've, I've... I don't know, I wouldn't say I've been struggling necessarily, but every fight has been very near the knuckle for a while, so coming back to an area that I can absolutely trash is actually kind of satisfying, you know? Being able to see some big numbers and enemies just disintegrate to my supreme power. I still didn't get five stars. Got another frosty egg though, I'll trade that in if I remember to do that next time I'm in town. Although I've not been doing that recently, have I? I've been failing in my mission. To give eggs to a dude. Oh well. Yeah, this direction I think. I think we can go now. I think. Yes, yes we can. Very cool. What is this area called actually? Let me just, I, I missed the pop-up. What did that say? Sun Palace. Okay, it's definitely not where we need to be, but it's where we can be. And uh, that's good enough for me, honestly. Let me in. Green gem, blue gem, red gem. How fun. Uh, someone can do the nature ones, can't they? Because we've done this before. Is it a... Uh... Yeah, it is. Oh, hello there. Hello.
hello, Mr. Snake. And a mantis. A snake and a mantis. Those are both very cool creatures. Are we going to fight? He's going to eyeball me from a distance. You're going you're gonna to step forward? He's going to raise his claws? He's going to be threatening? No, I'll, I'll, I'll instigate it then if that's going to be the case. Pretty high level. Pretty high level. I think we can take him. I have faith. Might have to play this a bit more... a bit more cleverly though. Treat it like a trainer battle almost, you know? I get the feeling this is not gonna be quite as easy as some of the other fights. Get the Mantis out of the way first, it seems to be the, the weakest of the... of the three, HP-wise. I'll go in, go in all in on Bulbasaur, hey? Really focusing on old Bulbasaur. What he ever did to you. Don't know why you, you deem that necessary. Don't know why you consider that to be appropriate behaviour on any level, but... You know what you do, you. They are going to kill him if they keep focusing all their attacks on him. Hey, they did a dumb. Could have had me that turn, but they didn't. Foolish fools. I gotta be so foolish. No, let's not gamble. Let's get the shield back up. Weighing up my options, but going to be sensible. I'd really like to get an egg off one of these. Either of them will do. They're both very cool. I think I prefer the two-headed snake. The mantis... I, I like mantises in general. I think they're cool creatures. But I think the the design is not the coolest looking mantis I've ever seen. It's fine. I don't dislike it. But... Just, uh... Give it my little opinion there. Is level one claw still his strongest ability? It's just silly. I should really start upgrading claws if it's going to be doing this much damage. Admittedly, that's only the case when fire isn't very good, but you know. Uh, should have shielded. Oh well, you live and learn. I think we got this. I think there's too much to worry about here. Level 3 does do more damage. You got enough shield to not have to worry for a few turns. Just go nuts on this fella. Getting, uh, getting a knockout against a wild Pokemon is pretty disappointing though. Pretty upsetting. Bulbasaur as well, that guy's a tanky motherfucker. You don't go down easy. Go on, give us an egg. I know that was a pretty poor showing and I probably won't get one. Alright. Alright. Okay, let's have a look see. Uh Vasuki. It's a snake! I've got a snake. I got a there isn't a two-headed snake in the Pokemon, is there? I was thinking there was, but I'm pretty certain I'm just thinking of Tenta. It's already level 14. Let's just have a look at those skills, see what he's got going for him. Double strike on each hit, there's a 10% chance to trigger another hit with the same base damage. At the beginning of each turn, heal a random debuff from this monster. Very nice. Tackle. He has double strike twice. That's weird. I wonder if it stacks. Slime shot. Uh, so he's got fire and poison abilities. He's, he seems to be a mix sweep. We've got both physical and special. 
attack out the wazoo. Which makes sense, because he has both flavours of... Hmm. I don't know. I like him. But I don't think he, he's going to bring much to my team, honestly. Who's this? Is this an alchemist? Is this... Is this a friendly person? Welcome, Spectral Keeper. I assume this is your first time in the Sun Palace. What you see before you is a perfectly organised, self-maintaining biotope. When the Master Sanctuary was created, each of the four Spectral Familiars contributed to the Sanctuary in a different way. The power of the wolf created the forests and mountains. The power of the toad created all the bodies of water. Good job, Bulbasaur. The power of the lion created the stronghold and all the other stone buildings of the Sanctuary. The lion's lame, humans could have done that. Lastly, we come to the eagle's contribution. A miniature sun that grants light and warmth to the Sun Palace. It's suspended at the top of the Sun Palace. Most keepers don't know, however, that the miniature sun's purposes go even further. The Sun's Palace is meant to be a place of balance, an underground temple filled with sunlight. An entire world that is at peace with itself, an ideal to strive toward within the sanctuary as well as within yourself. But it is in danger. The sun's light has been behaving strangely, and I believe that someone has been tampering with it. If the balance of the sun palace is destroyed, the entire sanctuary could be plagued with catastrophes like floods, storms, and earthquakes. I hope you as a spectral keeper understand the severity and urgency of the situation. Meet me in the centre of the sun palace to save the eagle's sun. Oh, so I'm just expected to drop everything and, and help them out, huh? What's this now? We're gonna get some sort of make platform appear ability. It's a lot of mantises. Uh, there's gotta be something down there, hasn't there? Probably a chest or something down here. Yeah. It's fucking nothing. I don't know if it's technically fucking nothing, it might be. I've not looked into upgrading items for a while, I should probably get on. Huh. It's a tanuki. It pretended to be a... Okay, that's very cool. That's neat. I like it. Let's just try and focus one down this time. We're taking too much damage to reliably heal off. Last, last uh, time we did this fight, so... Instead, let's just put our damage where our mouth is. That move is so good a lot of damage to be hitting everything with. Not getting rid of one on first turn, unfortunately, but we got him pretty low. Oh no, the old dog piling ghastly. Ooh, that's a neat move. Right, switch to defensive play, I guess. Tanuki's got some crazy ass buffs going on. I don't know what any of them are. I'm just gonna pretend they're not real. I don't think there's been a, a Tanuki based Pokemon, which is very surprising now that I think about it. Seems like something they would have done, doesn't it? I don't know, I might be just be, be drawing a blank here. There, there might actually be one that I just can't remember for whatever reason, but... I'm getting nothing. Oh yeah, we can finish this with him. Might as well, eh? Okay, this thing's actually a bit of a wall. It's resistant to burrow, so I guess we'll just go in with the fire claws. I do wanna, I wanna try mixing up my team a bit more, honestly. I've become so reliant on 
the whole uh, super defensive play from Gasly and Bulbasaur. I want to find something else that works, is the thing. I'm not just going to arbitrarily switch to, to other monsters and be like, eh, yeah, this is, this is different, so I'm doing it, you know. Especially considering how difficult this game can be at times. I need a, a, a system that's going to actually win me things, but... Lead Widow. I'll be the, uh... The... Shit, what well, they called Mantis is. That's the word I was looking for. This is also very cool. Some nice loot for that, considering it's only a three-star victory. Um, you will probably want that guitar plus three, huh? Oh, he does need the mana regen, though, is the thing. But that is a lot more damage he's getting, and a lot more crit chance, so... 40% crit chance, I mean, come on now. Like, come on, like, actually. The claws are not great for you, not really. No one else is physical, so... <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Hatch the egg. That was the other thing I needed to do. I'm trying to remember what I was forgetting then. Uh, hmm. It's the closest thing I can think of. Is my boy. My boy who was ruined in Generation 2. And I'll, I'll hear no other opinions. Fucking Scizor looks like a shitty Power Ranger knockoff. Or a Scyther was a cool motherfucker. Um, skills, that's what we're looking for. Quick physical attack triggers and oh, Okay, so he gets the same thing, only he's called something else. Oh no, that's a. Uh, okay, always does a weaker attack. That's still very good though. He's got a big slash, he's got the attack plus. Monster gets two random buffs when an enemy monster is knocked out, that's pretty nice. Hit supply bleed. We can go for a nice. Oh, he's really focused on just fucking shit up, isn't he? I kind of like that about him. The thing is, if we were to swap uh, sand trip out for this fella, we wouldn't have a fire attack on the on the starting three anymore. Hmm. We don't really need another earth attack. Some cool monsters, but nothing that's really sort of looking like a useful replacement for any of my current team. Those are also pretty neat. I'm gonna go this way first, then. What's that doing? through. Don't want any trouble. It's got to be something on this screen, right? Does it? I actually don't know now that I've said that. It might not have to be something on the screen. Mm. <laughs> Hold up. Not you. You. Oh, but then I, if I take him off, I can't... Oh, that opens... Wait, what? Weighted switch weighs that down. I'm confused as to what the purpose of that is, honestly. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go do that fight. I'm intrigued just to see what these fuckers do. Ninky Nanka. I got a funny name. I'll say that much for them. Their name is very funny. I struggle to do much damage to anything here, so I'll just do a buff on turn one. Oh, hang on, Fire Claws is fucking these boys up. Jesus. Making an absolute mess of those fellas. Got some nice abilities on them, though, and nice support abilities. It's like a crocodile with the. I don't know, like an antelope head or something? 
It's probably a natural thing in some sort of mythology or other, but I'm too uncultured to know what. Got very high physical defense, but quite low. Wait, no. That's not right, because Fire Claws is physical. I don't understand. I don't understand how this game works. I probably don't need to. It's definitely weak to fire, though. They're absolutely right about that. Eh, getting the poison off is worth it. Come up. Yeah, he's going down. Oh, well, not yet, maybe. Maybe, he says, after all the damage is already ticked. You can see for absolute certain that it's not going to happen. Maybe it's not going to happen. <laughs> die to poison sooner or later is the thing. I need to keep shielding. These things are stronger than they look. And they look pretty cool, so I mean, looking stronger than that, or being stronger than they look. Look, look, I... I... Talking's hard, alright. I don't know who invented talking. We should go back in history and find out who invented talking and tell them to Replace it with something a little bit easier to do for those of us who are a bit socially inept, you know? There has to be a better alternative. Maybe we could just, like... I don't know. Bang our heads into things. In a rhythmic pattern. If we'd been doing that for millennia, right, we would have developed really, really hard scores as, as natural selection kicked in, you know. And by this point, we would just be, like, immune to brain damage. We just wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to, like, hurt our brains ever from anything. It would have been brilliant. Why weren't people doing that? Why weren't our ancestors putting their bodies through unimaginable constant pain in order to make our current selves stronger. Hmm? Selfish bastards a lot. Might have to dig grandma up and give her a stern talking to. But first I'm going to win the fuck out of this battle. Give me an egg. Go on. You know you want to. You know you're feeling generous. Got four stars out of that. And I didn't... I, 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 I didn't... I didn't get an egg. Four stars and no egg. I mean, where's the justice? Where is actually the justice? Alright, watch this. Okay, don't watch that. What I just did, that was... that was wrong. Imagine that, but good, alright? About it. Think how good that would be. Is that doable? Am I being really bad or is that not doable? Uh, it's kind of hard to, to get the angle right. I don't know if it's maybe a thing I can do later if I get more like jumpy jumpy abilities, but if you just walk off something, you only get one jump. You can't do two jumps after stepping off, so... Yep, there we go. I was just being bad. That's fair. That's understandable. Right, so that opened that. You just continue to slip past these fellas. I caught them both incredibly early and therefore they're both completely unnecessary to me now. Ormond, very nice. That opens that and then this button also opens the other one, right? Is that how this works? Uh, where is he? We have to make this last jump without flight, though, because I need him to be out in order to keep the button held down. I think it's doable. Yeah, easy. All that for a crimson gem, eh? Would have been nice to have opened that path on the right with it as well, but I guess that's for, that's for later. That's not something we worry about now. Right. Did that room. 
succeeded in that little puzzle, didn't I? This just seems unnecessary. <laughs> uh, who does the who does the water? It's you, isn't it? The o one of the OGs. Oh, it's on a timer. Fuck. It's on a very fucking rough timer. Double fuck. Okay. I'm assuming if I hit all four in time, they'll just stay open. I, won't, I don't have to get inside in the timer as well, because that seems completely untenable. Shit, fuck that one, didn't I? Does that reset it? I don't think it did. Oh, shit. If I just stand here, what happens? Oh, they considered that. So close. Jumping is faster movement, I have discovered. What? I definitely got that one in time. You can piss right off with your. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. fine. I wish there was an easy way of just like being like, I don't want to do this anymore. Let me give up. Let me fail. Did it. Yeah, that's something. That's something. I'll equip it. Someone's got a Cestus equipped. No, no one's got a Cestus equipped. I stand corrected. I really thought someone did. Um, you've got a shuriken, is it? Oh yeah, Cestus is a massive upgrade over that. This would be an upgrade for basically everyone except Sandra, actually. But, yeah, we'll, we'll give it to the OG boy. Another mystery solved. Another puzzle unpuzzlinated. Picked apart by my superior intellect. <laughs> I keep telling myself that, maybe one day I'll believe it. Need to... Need to win the battle. That's what we need to do. I know I can fuck up that thing in the middle with fire claws, so let's just try and... Try and kill that turn one. Build up a bit of a combo. It'll make fire claws do some sick, sick damage. Not enough. Not enough. Especially not if we get no crits. Come on, you got 40% crit chance, dude. You can do better than that. See, in instances like this, it, it makes me think that maybe I should just, uh, just get an all-out damage team. Because being able to just remove an opponent from the battle right at the start definitely has its advantages. Turning it into a 3v2, you know. Pretty decent strategy, I would say. I'm gonna try and do this one without stopping to shield. I'm gonna have to heal to keep the old he uh, health ball topped up. Keep keep the team from just getting completely destroyed, but... I really got much uh, damage output here, honestly. 
Oh, this is getting rough. This is getting real rough. Maybe I should have uh, not refused to shield. Too late now, I've committed. Can't go back on my principles. What would that make me then? It would make me weak. It would make me a fool. Being able to admit weakness is, is a downside and no one should ever do it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We're getting him. We're getting him, boys. Poison and burn is going to do a number on me this turn. Yeah, we can kill it before next turn. We don't need to bother healing again. Fuck him up. Fuck him right up. Now give me an egg of one of those weird things. Okay. What can I expect for two stars, really? You again, huh? Hello again, Spectral Keeper. This is the center of the Sun Palace. Usually just over there you can see a tower extending upwards. It seems that my suspicions were right. Someone has been going around tampering with the mechanisms of the Sun Palace. You see there are mechanisms in place to raise and lower this tower. A tower, you say? I happen to be in the market for a tower. We need to raise the tower again so that we can ascend to the Eagle's Sun at the top of the Sun's Palace. There are levers hidden in the aqueducts below to raise the tower. The entrance to the aqueducts is right here. I will wait here while you raise the tower so that I can quickly climb the tower and assess the situation. And wait for you to come and deal with whatever's up there. Because <laughs> I'm an NPC in a video game, baby! <laughs> Fuck you, I'm not going down your aqueduct, I want to see what's in this direction. Okay. I don't know where I'm meant to be going for that. What's it do? This way? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Do I run faster if I if I bunny hop? Do, but it's hard to hard to get it right with the timing and everything. That definitely doesn't speed you up when you're going downhill like that. It does when you're going uphill, I think. Though. I'm not sure I can make that. Do we have anyone who allows me to like speed up in any way? Oh, it's just the same as Summon Rock. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, if I... No, that's, that's not going to help at all. Okay. You don't really have anything right now that would allow me to move faster. I'm not sure if this is something I can actually do right now. Like a solid second down. I'm not sure it's possible. I'll leave that one for now. So we meet again, fellow traveller. We did meet once before. I remember your melty cat. This is a marvellous place, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it before anywhere in the sanctuary. But I gotta say, the monsters around here are really scary too. I think my trusty Scorch has been able to fend them off so far. Have you been in the watery underground, watery underground areas yet? No way I'm going down there. Who knows what monsters could be hiding there? Anyway, I found some more treasure. Maybe you will make better use of these than me. Probably not. If you use one of these monster bells, any monsters you've recently defeated will come back instantly. I wish you farewell once more then. But who knows, perhaps our paths will cross again in the future. Or I could just leave the area and come back if I want things to respawn. I'm not quite sure how those are supposed to be useful. Clearly missing something. Okay. I wanted to see if I could fly out over the the next area and explore the upper, upper area a bit, but there's a there's just an invisible wall stopping me, so fuck you game, I guess. I don't know where I'm going. I don't think I need to know where I'm going. Ooh, hello. 
Those are new. We'll come back to those, let's keep exploring for now. Get a bit of a lay of the land, you know. Why do anything legit when you can go to the snowy peaks? Don't know what this place is, but let's keep exploring. Fuck it, why not? It's what this game's all about, right? Metroidvania. May as well be called an exploring sim. Oh, it's old Burren. He was my little trainer man at the start. Hello there, I was just taking a stroll around here. Ain't the snowy peaks just the most magnificent sight of our sanctuary? Well then, how have you been doing so far? You're a Keeper Lancer now, huh? I gotta admit, that was pretty quick. To be honest with you, the snowy peaks seem calm and peaceful right now. At least I haven't heard anything yet. But hey, it's said that in strange times, a Keeper in need might be able to communicate with the Frozen Oracle. Supposedly she could answer any question, or tell you where you need to go to find the lost object, like that special key that we need. Who knows, perhaps you're the lucky one to find it. I'm certainly not going to jump into that cold lake. That's right, the Oracle's supposed to be somewhere in the frozen lake on the west end of the Snowy Peaks. Why don't you go take a dive, see if there's any truth to the stories. <laughs> go get hypothermia and die. Well, I'll head back to the farm in just a moment. Don't actually do anything foolish. I was just kidding around about going in the frozen lake. You know that, right? Nope. I don't understand jokes or sarcasm or anything, really. I do what I'm told by the text boxes. Well, those are simultaneously terrifying and adorable. What level do you think they're going to be? Like, 20? <laughs> 19. Oh boy, I should really start spending my skill points. I think I'm going to be struggling with these. Let's give them a go. I'm getting in a bit over my head here, I think. But... I just want to feel it out a bit. See what there is out there for one such as me, you know? See what wonders lie in the depths of this video game. Okay, okay, we can do some we can do some mess here. We can make some waves. They're not doing that much to me. I mean that did. I'm pretty certain Sandry can finish that one off, so... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, go again. Thank you for that crit. Kinda needed that, honestly. Really not ready to fight level 20s yet. Uh, it's a pretty good parallel for real life, actually. I distinctly remember definitely not being ready to be 20 when I was 16 in uh, in real life as well. 20-year-olds <laughs> were terrifying to me at the time. Um, hmm. No, I'm just going to shield again, honestly. I know there's only one left, but those snowballs do a lot of damage. I don't think a little bit of extra chip damage from uh, Ghastly is going to help much here. Maybe this turn. Maybe this turn. We just go all out. Try and rack up enough of a combo for Fire Claws to make an absolute fucking mess of this lad. Nope, wasn't enough. Thankfully we've got our shields up, so shouldn't be too much to worry about. Yeah, these things, I don't know, they seem a bit shit considering the level advantage they've got over me. It's taken me a while to kill them, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, that only did 252, like... That's a very small amount of damage.
I get that that fight was very long and just me very slowly whittling down enemies. But I still think I deserve more than two stars for that. Aww. Well, that's mean. I guess I'll plumb it. Oh, oh, there was there was treasure. I want the treasure. I want the high level area treasure. It's corn. <laughs> oh, there's something just hysterical to me. This is this is my level of humor. This is what I find funny. The concept of finding legendary corn in a chest is. is next level wacky to me. Well, that didn't open what I thought it was going to open. Also, those are ice slimes. I'm going to... I'm going to be a little bit cautious here. Maybe not running guns blazing. kind of want to see if there's anything... any, like, paths that loop back to earlier areas of the game or anything I can open up up here. Oh, I know him. We think that lever that I just pulled... Um, open the chest at the other end of the room. That sounds like a reasonable guess. Yeah. Cool. I don't know what the one on this side did, but I'm sure it did something helpful. I'm sure it was worth doing. There's no such thing as a lever that isn't worth pulling. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. See, we're right below the starting zone now, but... Oh no, it does look like it's going to join up, actually. Okay. Plus 80 mana ring. Yeah, we're here. I probably could have come in this direction earlier. But... Eh. <laughs> Never mind, eh? It's nice to have it all linked up now. Gives me that little, little pleasant feeling of completionism. No, I can't get that. I think maybe I have to drop down from... No, because it's a boxed off room. There must be some way of jumping up there. Maybe I get a triple jump at some point. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna give these lads down here a fight, I think. <laughs> See what the ice slimes are all about. We know the sheep isn't super scary, so I'll probably focus the slimes first. Seems sensible to me right now. Got anything super effective? Nope. Shield it is. Yeah, I figured fire claws would be good against them too. Nice. It's a lot of times, but it's not a stupid amount of damage. Like, they've not popped my shields yet. That should die to poison, I think. So I'll move on to the next one. Oh, it didn't. I'm really bad at judging poison. Sometimes it, it seems to do like a fuckload of damage, and other times it barely seems to move the health bars at all. Maybe it's not percentage-based like I thought it was. I don't actually know. Yeah, if I tackle this and then fire claws it, it should be the end of it. Then one more turn shielding. And then I can just go all out on the sheep afterwards. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. That kind of changes everything. I'm struggling to decide how I feel about a mana system in this game. I know uh, Temtem has one as well, which is a game I, I very much like. Uh, but it's, you know, I say it's a mana system, it's a stamina system in that game, and it it's to encourage swap outs and things, but in this game, like, 
particularly in my battles where you commit your three and then you can't swap them. Swap outs seem like something that just aren't as relevant. So instead, when you run out of mana, you just sort of sat there being shit, you know? I know, it feels like a, a system that maybe isn't strictly necessary. I don't know. It's nice that they're trying something different to just the standard Pokemon PP system though, you know? We've all seen that used ad nauseum, so... Why not turn the tables a little? So we know that we can't go up here yet until we've achieved something. But off to the left is apparently where we'll find the Lady of the Lake or whatever the fuck we were looking for. That could be exciting. That could be worth uh, investigating. Is it holding that ball on like a string, or is that ball just like floating in front of its face? It's hard to tell. Either way, let's kick the shit out of it. That'll teach it for being a cat near me. These are actually level 20. We finally, we finally struck level 20s. We finally arrived. We are officially completely out of our depths now. <laughs> and yet. Yeah. And yet, very nearly one-shot that dude while putting a shield up as well, so. First time I've seen a level 4 spell, though. I guess you get those at level 20, don't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, defensive play it is. Let's not go too guns blazing here. I'm going to just do a regular attack to regen some mana. Attempt to finish that off. There we go. As I say, the, the mana system encourages me to do th things like that, you know, forces me to think a bit more tactically, so I suppose it's a good thing. I suppose. I'll begrudgingly say it's a good thing. Uh, one more turn of shielding, I think. And we'll work out what we're going to do about the kitty cat. It's weird that this is a world in which regular quadrupedal cats exist, but then there's also bipedal cats that carry swords around. It's a strange concept. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just do this. Yeah, they're running out of mana as well. Fuck it up. Oh, will it die of poison from there? Kinda just want to start ice hailing this bad boy. Let's gamble on the poison. Why not? Yeah, very nice. Can you stop healing, please, dude? I want this battle to be over at some point. <laughs> Makes it very hard to get a high star rating when your opponents refuse to die. Please stop. Please stop. Bubble burst. I say, oh. Uh, regular attack. <laughs> I've run out of mana twice in this fight now, that's how long this has gone on for. Thank fuck it's attacking. Actually making moves to, to fight back instead of just sitting there spam healing itself like the little prick it is. There we go. Uh, no eggs. Cool. Thanks, I guess. So it's level 20 in this direction, so I'm thinking maybe we don't go this way just yet. I think maybe we return to the Sun Temple and do as we were instructed. 
explore the aqueduct that might be slightly lower level. Come back here once we've uh, made headway in that direction. That sounds reasonable, right? This isn't quitting, it's, it's strategizing, right? I'm not a quitter. I'm very hardcore and very good at games. And uh, my very hardcore, very good at games self is going to pick up next time. I'll see you around and uh, words that end videos. Goodbye.